So I have a riddle for you guys. Why won't the sheep eat the grass? Hello everybody, I'm Grizzly Adam and welcome back to Material Energy 4 Hypercube. We are going to get right into this episode, starting off with some crafting. So, I have a couple quests that I need to craft stuff for, so I'm going to jump right on it. First thing we're going to do is we're going to do bigger on the inside, which means we have to make a personal shrinking device. So I got the stuff right here for it. First up, I need these, and then I'm gonna need these. I had to go dig around for the uh, diamonds. I had to open up the that one uh, vanilla mining world. So first off, we're making the world resizing interfaces. Gotta have two of them. And then go into here. There we go. And personal shrinking device. I almost want to test it out, but I'm almost a little scared too. Well, that didn't work. Okay, whatever. We made it though. So we will. How does it say? Da 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 da. Do they use machinery in a compact space? Interact with such small structures. Oh, I think it's part of. Oh, I, I know what it's. I think I know what it's part of. It's part of the compact machines mod which I'm not probably going to get into. But anyways, so we get reward bag, time when to be later, add knowledge module, and this stuff. What is this stuff? Uh, nothing too interesting. Okay. Uh, so I, I loaded up the, that one world, oh, greater, okay, cool. That one world, a world spatial area, so that I could get some more diamonds I put luck on my hammer uh, max it out and I maxed out the luck on this too so I maximized the amount of uh, diamonds and redstone and lapis and stuff I could get so next thing we're going to make is oh well I guess that opened up the compact machines thing in this one or, or no right here Okay, well, then maybe I will do these. Mm, we'll find out. I don't know. I kind of don't want to, but maybe. Uh, so let's go to this. Lamps of Darkness. Got to make lapis lamps. Got to make four of them. We go into lamp. Go here. There we go. It makes eight of them. Take thickened glass, and then I just take a, you just take a lapis, uh, decompose it, grab the thing, and stick it there. And you make the lapis lamps. Also, this is not a quest thing, but I want to make it because I saw it. I thought it looked really interesting. Traveler's Wings by Tinker's Construct. Ability High Jump. I'm curious. Is it a... I think it might be a... What is it? Oh. It's a leg thing. It's kind of weird. I got wings! Am I really jumping higher? I can't quite tell. Let's see. I guess I am jumping higher. I think it's two blocks. Eh. It's okay. I was hoping that it was, uh... Not something that went there and said something that went in one of these spots, like the backpack slot. I know it's a backpack, but I feel like, oh, these are wings. They should go in the back. But, okay. Anyways, that's uh, neither here nor there. Um, let's see, what else? That chest is empty, that chest is empty. Okay, we'll go over to this one now. So next we're going to make the uh, Ender Energy Distributor. Uh, I was awarded an Ender Diamond in a reward bag. So I don't need to worry about making a fourth one of these, so I only need to make three. There we go. Stick an energy distributor here. Boom, boom, boom. Ender energy distributor. Grab that. Now, where to go? Oh, let's turn this one in. 
Dark Ethereal Glass and Reward Bag. There we go. I think it might be under Lost in Time. There it is. Yeah, Energy Distributor. Got that. We get a Vibrant Capacitor Bank, Ender Tank Glass, Reward Bag, and Position Filter. Can I claim it again? I don't feel like I should be able to, but it says I can. I'm not going to. I'm not going to. I'm not going to cheat it. Um, and then Enchanter. So we're going to make an Enchanter. Which is this stuff. Grab that. Toss it back in here. Do, 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 do. Enchanter. I looked it up, the Enchanter. And it's okay. Uh, you do get to pick what you want. But... You have to, like, use an item to get it. So, it still t it takes, basically, I think, a book and quill, an item, and then levels. And you get, for example, if I put a piece of obsidian, and I get unbreaking one. So, I need to make, if I want to get unbreaking three, I would need to have, let's see, eight unbreaking... One books to eight to four to two. No, I want one. I'm breaking three. Which means I have two. I'm breaking twos. Which means I have four. I'm breaking ones. That's the way it works. Anyways, we got it. Did we? Did we claim it already? I don't think so. Do we have balls of enchanting? No, we don't. There we go. Okay, turn that one in. I don't have any of these ones. Uh, the printing press is a lot more expensive in this mod pack than previous mod packs, so I'm not going to get into that. Compact machine. Okay, not going to worry about that. Let's jump back into this one. Uh, domestication. We need 20 leather, 20 feathers, and 20 eggs. And I'm just going to go straight into this one too. We need 10 pumpkin pies. So you can see here, I have 20 leather, 20 feathers, and 20 eggs. Okay. Put these back. And then I need to make 10 pumpkin pies. There we go. 10 pumpkin pies. Got that. We get sugar in a ward bag. Uh, we got that one done as well. Spawn squid, spawn slime. And... And over here, Bioalchemy. I finally got that one done. It actually didn't take as long as I thought it'd be, and it wasn't as difficult. Mainly because I figured out how to use that trans-dimensional thing. The reason why it wasn't working is because I didn't actually have any power in my reactor. So, I got it. I basically, I, they're basically their Tesseracts. And they're super awesome. They work very, very well. So, Bioalchemy get a green heart cancer in your ward bag which we can't get yet because we don't have enough space uh, turn that away put these away huh oh okay so they're like uh, uh, what you call it energy cells huh 25 million RF that's actually really good uh, let's see good bag put that away put that away I want to keep that that away, 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 that away. Okay, good enough. Claim this. And I'm kind of hoping. I think it's just a greater bag. Oh, that sucks. I was kind of hoping it was an epic bag. I feel like that was an epic thing. But we get another green heart canister. Boop. And now we have. We should get two golden hearts. There we go. It's going. Let's see, what else? Anything else in this one? Okay, yep, wireless redstone. We shall make a wireless lever, which is from this. So basically, take a block of redstone, stick a lever under it, and you can make a wireless lever. And then I could, I think I just need to like stick it on the wall and then say, you control you. And that's it. But I'm not too worried about that. Redstone, P2P tunnel, redstone, and ward bag. Okay. And, oh, this one right here, golden bag. 
I saw that we needed to make this, so it's a golden bag of holding. Hold the double chest worth of inventory on the go. It's actually a really, really powerful tool. Let's just do it this way. Uh, bag of holding. Boink. Golden bag of holding. And we get magical wood, reward bag, and compressed cookies. There we go. And then what's this one? Deep storage. Basic cache. Uh, caches can... Well, I should say caches are blocks that store a single type of an item with very high capacity. It can also be upgraded and moved with items still inside. Oh, okay. Oh, that's going to be a lot better than what I'm working on right now. Uh, how do you make it? Uh, basic cache. Wood, surrounded by tin. And it can hold 10,000, 40, 160. Okay. So we'll have, I'll have to, uh, work on getting my way up on these. I could probably go straight to a harden. And that'll be a little bit better because I've got something going on over there, uh, which is actually what this is for. And yeah, I'll grab it now. Da, 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 da. I'll grab these as well. Okay, so we needed to make a while back ago a uh, world interaction upgrade. So we shall do so. Upgrade. There we go, world interaction upgrade. And oh, consume. We need three double compressed cobblestone. Okay, well, I think I might actually have that already. What, what I've done is I made a cobblestone generator. I hooked up a bunch of chests uh, to the cobblestone generator. And I've got the transfer pipe, which is supposed to uh, make it go a lot faster. Or uh, make it, I guess, more efficient. Oh, no, I'm trapped. There we go. And I had it hooked up to a bunch of chests. And it'll fill up the chests. And then this, uh, the crafting terminal will be able to check on all of them. However, I think that cache will be, not cache, it's cache, which is actually pronounced cache, uh, will actually be a lot better. I'll do the math, uh, I'll figure out how much one chest can hold of a single thing, and we'll go from there. But for now, let me stick, uh, actually, let's not stick it in yet. I want to see, as we put the upgrades in, what the differences are. So let's do this, lava on one side, water on the other side, okay, and is it going? Should be. Is it going? It doesn't look like it's going. Why are you not going? Do I actually have to put, oh, okay, you actually have to put one of these in. Gotcha, okay. So it's just, it's ticking away. If I put, let's just put one stack upgrade in. That doesn't seem to do much. If I put one speed upgrade in. Okay, it does go faster if I put all eight. It looks like it outputs it faster. It doesn't actually pull it in faster. What if I put the four stack upgrades? Doesn't really do a whole lot. Huh, interesting. But it's it's outputting to places. It's 44 in there. It's a stack in there. Okay. But we want how much? Three double compressed. I think I have that already from my mining adventures. Uh double compressed cobble. One, two, three. Okay. Oh manual submit. Okay. And we'll, we get five world interaction upgrades and a reward bag. Okay, so this will help us do this faster, hopefully. And let's jump in. Boom. Okay, yeah, it's going faster. I'll just test these guys in. I don't really know if they're actually, like, useful, but it's going. There. Maybe. Yeah, it's, it's 
going slow. It's slow. Well, this one's going a little bit faster. What about like this chest down here? It's not getting me yet, so it's filling up this one first. Okay. And then I believe I can go into here and go cobble. Okay, so I can see it ticking up slowly. Uh, I need... <sighs> How much do I need? Well, here, I'll show you. Torch. We want this guy, Torturino. Which takes an octuple compressed cookie, an octuple compressed cobble, and a ludicrite block. This block is made from plutonium ingots, block of emeralds, uh, ender pearls, nether star, stuff like that. These guys, so these are in bulk presses. There's two different versions of this. Um, the difference is this one takes emeralds, ender pearl, and nether star, and this one takes enderium blocks. I don't know, I'll have to try to figure out which one the lesser of the two evils. How's this made? Uh, plutonium in that. Okay, that's not that difficult. I can, I can get that. Unless you can make the dust somehow. Nope, just plutonium. Okay, so just plutonium and the chemical synthesizer. Not too difficult. And it's going along, and then what I can do is I can just go into here. And do that. Just do that as much as I can. Oops. Do it like one more time. There we go. And then... Do that. And I can just keep... Keep doing that, and eventually I'll get. So I've got a sextuple, which is half a, about half a million, but we need an octuple, which is 43 million. So we need 43 million cobble. So this is going to take a long time. However, I might try and might try to make more of these world interaction upgrades. Not quite sure. Try to figure out something to make these this go faster. And I might make more of them. I don't know. We'll see. But I need an octuple compressed cobble because we need the Torturino for this quest. Torches of Time. We need one of them. And I'm assuming that what that'll do is that'll open up these ones uh, and they want us to get a bunch more resources. So this is this is the long game right here, which we may or may not finish. I don't know. Uh, one quest with unclaimed rewards. Oh, that's this one, right there, which we did claim. So I'm not gonna claim it again. I might just try and make it so it's like formally done. Anything else in here we need to do? Uh, da, 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 da. Oh, this one, Solarium. Uh, basically takes soul sand and golden alloy smelter. Head down to here. And I have this, had this cooking, got some solarium, just threw soul sand and gold in here. And claim reward. We get a soul binder. That soul binder is going to be useful. Um, okay, nope. Uh, if I take, I need the, I need this guy, Killer Joe, which takes a soul binder to make. I'm also going to need a slice and splice, but I'm not worried about that right now. But the soul binder also will let us uh, fix broken spawners. So we can take a soul vial with some mob in it, put it on the broken spawner, and I believe it says it gives us the broken spawner back, but I think it's actually supposed to be a, a regular spawner. Something like that. Uh, oops, that's my quest book. Get back. So that's that one. Anything else? I'm guessing once we get that one, it'll open up these. Okay, I'm going to do something with you guys that's probably suicidal, but it's going to be fun. Okay, more of that. Just put that up there. Make sure I have an open slot down here. Uh, we'll do these reward bags in a second. Okay, so. Right here. Not wither. Nether star. Okay? How do you get another star? Do this. That's for peaceful moment only. Okay? Doesn't quite work for us. 
uh, this one, poison arrow, but the poison arrow takes another star. Okay, doesn't quite work for us. Uh, or we can kill a wither, but we don't really have the stuff for it and we are not quite prepared for it. Or you can make it. So he takes helium, basically four stacks of helium, which isn't that difficult to make. Uh, it takes three stacks of hydrogen, not difficult to get either. A stack of carbon, still not very difficult, but then it takes 16 Copernic, per, Copernicium, Copernicum, that, that thing, which is extremely radioactive, okay? So it's 112. Well, I have up here barium, which is 56, which is half of 112. And I've got 32 of them. When I split the stack and stick it there, I will end up getting 16 Capernaum. However, it says it's extremely radioactive, so I don't know if it's seconds, or if it's minutes, or if it's instantaneous, but there's a chance I might make it, pick it out, and just die. I don't know. Like, it's extremely radioactive, so I, I can see myself dying from radioactive stuff. But what I need to do is I need to make it, grab it, back up, onto here, head down, run over to here, plop the 16 into here to register to make it, put it in here, and then actually make it. Okay? So, that's what I need to do. What I'm going to do to help facilitate this is I'm going to make a little wedge here so I should be able to back myself into here. Granted, I should just be able to back straight up if I do it correctly. Okay. And then get back here, shift, run up here, and then work on it. Okay. Just make sure I'm lined up. Because I don't know, if I have seconds, I need to do this fast. If I have more than seconds, then I'm fine. So, let's see. Okay. Here we go. You ready? This is this is the moment of truth. Okay, I got minutes. I got 12 minutes. I got plenty of time. Pop it into there. And there you go. I have another star. You don't exist. There you go. You don't exist. Here we go. I have another star! Yay! What I'm going to do with it, I don't know. But I wanted to make it because I could. I saw it, it was a, an actual recipe, and I figured it'd be fun to make. Uh, let's see, what are the uses of it? I can make a beacon. I can make another star generator. Uh, beacon. The This block, which... It actually really... I guess it really wasn't that difficult to make another star. Uh... So I could probably make a bunch of them. It just takes a bunch of energy. I can make a compact machine. Maximum size takes eight of these guys. Ooh. A quantum entangler. Player interface. Not really sure what exactly what that's about. Spirit binder. That might be something interesting to play around with. And then the poison arrow. Uh, what is that used for? No, it doesn't tell me. I could look that up. But anyways, we have another star. Just thought it'd be kind of fun to make that. Um, hey, finally, the sheep ate the grass and made wool. Looks like that's the only one that's done it. Anyways, stupid sheep. Let's go put this away. And I want to explore... Let's see. That there, that there. Just throw the cookies in here. Do, do, do. And I'll do that later. Uh, solarium, salt binder, do, do, do. Uh, okay. Good enough. Let's put that here. Okay. So now I want to open up these reward bags. I think I've got a couple more for here. When I was digging around in the, uh, uh, the vanilla mining, I found some more. Okay. So we have quite a few reward bags to open up real fast. Here we go. And a fragment. Zisto's Battle Sign. Let's see, what, what are the actual skills of this? 
Oh, nothing really. That's actually really crummy. I would have think his battle sign would be a lot better than that. Anyways. Another one. Okay. I don't really need two of them. Ender fragment. Okay, so we got double ender fragment and double Z still battle sign. Interesting. And good bags. Eight of them. Coal. Clay. Explosives. Cooking pan of warrior Philippe. Philip. Philippe. Whatever. Magmatic Dynamo. Books. Block of Iron. Seared Stone Bucket. Five of them. Okay. And... Oh. They actually stacked. That's... Oh, well, I guess it's not supposed to. But because we're in, our inventory is full here, I'm just going to do this. So we don't have to run back to a chest. There we go. And next, seven graders. Oh, yes, another one of these. Sweet. I, I can't believe I'm excited about cobblestone. We need a lot of these. Anyways, next, ectoplasm, don't really care. Pyrothium dust. Actually, I'm actually okay with that now that I think about it, because now I can make uh, endearium ingots a lot easier if I have pyrothium dust. Okay, next. Uh, this thing, which I don't know how to use it. Next. Ender tank stuff. I'm sure it's really awesome, just haven't looked into how to use it. Next. Energy distributor. Basically, it's the random things version of tesseracts. So, eh. So I've got some of my own. Obsidian stick, player core, flask of withering. Eh. What's that used for? Use for item collector, specter sword, biome painter. Well, that's crazy looking. Whoa. Anyways, uh, what's this used for? Use, player interface. Eh, okay, how's that made? Eh, not very expensive. Don't care. And then flask of withering is. I think I've already gotten a bunch of those from those witches. Okay, well that's into that. Uh, next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to show you some stuff that I've explored. Let me just throw that in there. How's my cobble doing? Ooh, wow, it's cooking. It's cooking. i just do this, probably do this every once in a while. Okay. Boom, boom. Make that. That's actually not half bad, now that I think about it. Just, just go into town. Got triple compressed now. Got eight of them, and then I'll make a quadruple compressed. And so it's just it's going and just filling up those chests over there. But anyways, let's grab some ender pearls because we're gonna need them. Uh, ender pearls. Here we go. Okay, so I I was trying to figure out that what what's what's inspired me to do this was I was I was setting this up, and for some reason I couldn't get it to hook up to all these chests. Like you can see, it says device online. Okay, and it's because I have, and I'm using eight of eight channels. Okay, well, let me show you something. If I do this, if I, like, take this one out, did I get that back? Hey, get that back to me. Where'd it go? Well, I don't know where that, oh. Give that back to me. Hey, you, jerk, give it back. Okay. Are you you make I'm making sure that you're you're still working, right? Yeah, you're still working. Okay. Uh so I yanked that out and you can see that I'm using seven of eight channels in this. Okay. Well, device online device missing channel. Okay. Well, let me take this one off, too. Did he eat it again? Thank you. There we go, it's over here this time. Okay. So, four of eight channels, three of eight channels, and this taking a channel. And you can see a total of eight of 32. Okay? Because, and these ones over here are missing channels. 
These ones are online. So I was trying to figure out how this whole thing worked. And it's a new thing with material energy. Or not, yeah, applied energistics, sorry. Uh, and what you have to do, come on, reboot. It's not rebooting now, hold on. I have to break, I gotta break that one. So it'll reboot the lines, there you go. And now it's rebooted and now it's getting everything now. It's, it's so weird. I don't quite understand how this works and how it figures out what to do. And so I was like, okay, well, let me dig into here because I know, I know that it goes down into there and I know it comes over here. So I ended up, uh, taking out all the glass and look at the pretty colors for a while. Ooh. But anyway, so I jumped down to try and figure out how this thing worked, and I still don't quite understand. I could read up on it, but then I was like, I wonder what's outside of here. So I started digging my way through, and hey, what do you know? I found a cow. Oops, there we go. So I actually found some trophies in here. It's actually a nice big room. I might actually uh, put like an elevator block and start using this for storage and maybe relocate that or put a giant wall of igneous extruders or something. Something to help me out. But that's pretty much about it down here. Except I did find a reward bag here and a reward bag here. And then I hopped back through and I found a chicken. There we go. And I found the Tesseract. You know the Tesseract that was freaking out on like, over at the reactor? I'm like, I don't know where it goes. I don't know what it does. Here it is. This is, this is the output of it. It outputs right here, puts the energy into the controller, fills up these cells, and all's well in the world. So. Yep, that's, that's the adventure. That's, it all stemmed from that cobblestone generator that I made trying to figure out how it worked and what to do with it and stuff like that. So let's get out of here. Ha! And then, now that I've gotten those trophies, let's turn in those quests for that. Uh, bake to... Hmm, secrets. Cow, we get a reward bag. And chicken, we get a reward bag. Okay, and we got two goods. We found two basics just a second ago. Open these up. Ooh. We got two more. Silver battle sign. Interesting. Reactor coolant port, cyanide block. Okay. And five cookies. Eh. And then good bags. Oh, okay, there we go. Get a bunch more of these guys, which we've lost quite a few of them. Uh, Flutterer. Wild. Oh, wild. That's, uh... Um... We have a, a spatial area for wild. Uh, Sevidus, we have... Oh, not, that's not a sword, but we have his sword somewhere. Radicent and Sneera. Okay. And last one, ten blocks. Eh. Okay. So, let me... Let me put these things away out of space here. Yeast. I made a bunch of chests because I was going to fill that whole wall up with chests, but then the material energy, or applied energistics thing was weird and made my brain hurt and stuff like that. So let's go put the trophies away. And I'll just leave everything else in my inventory for now. It's not that big of a deal. Head on over here. Uh, so we found, I found the cow first, and then I found the chicken. There we go. We are so close to finishing this up. And I also found, around here, another reward bag, and another reward bag. Holy planks of Scott Killen! Okay. And Florbs. Not really the greatest. They are just basic reward bags, though. Uh, so let's get back up here. 
I said last time that I was going to head into... Oh, oh time out, time out, time out. So then I was like, oh, there's, there's one, two, three of those cables coming out of that thing. And there's a fourth one. So I followed it over this way. And it actually comes out right here. And there's ME chests right here, which have my stuff in it. But I can't figure out how to get the the uh, little cell out. So, whatever. I'm not too worried about it. I just want to show you guys. Uh, let's walk around. Drop some stuff off. Do, 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 do. So anyways, I said I was going to tackle this uh, this time, but... I got those two spatial things last time that I wanted to take a look at. And so I figured I want to do that instead. Just flip that out. Switch these. So we got... What do we get? Um, oh, I stored it over here, didn't I? Yep. Okay. So I can keep it separate. I was like, so lost for a second. So Wild's Dream. We just got Wild's uh, uh, thing. Uh, golden Lasso. Oh! Oh no. I don't see it. Ineffable glass. Okay, so I passed through this, so I need a shift. I see. I see something right there. This is going to be dangerous. I don't know if I'm prepared for this. We're going to slowly slink my way forward. I think that's a wi I think that's a spawner. I I think that's a spawner in there. I bet if I get closer, the things gonna start spinning. If it is, we're getting out of here. Oh, okay. Oh, I can't. I can't. I wish I put ender pearls on my thing, so I could have ender pearled my way out. But I. Oh no. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Okay. Oh boy. Put ender pearls back on my bar so I can ender pearl out of there. Um, that wither's gonna destroy this place. I don't know what to do about that. Well, I think what I might do is I might make a copy of this world and see if he destroys the heck out of it. Okay, uh, put that away, please. Thank you. Um, yeah, we're gonna put you in a deep, dark area and never open you up again. Oh, boy. mini -me lab. On the wither it still says it's here. Okay, okay, it's gone. Okay, yeah, it says it's gone. Okay, mini me lab. This one sounds a lot, a little bit more fun. Still got my under pearls out, just in case. Oh, maybe not. Okay. Yeah. Huh, okay, interesting. Let's get my sword out. Okay, these are lamps, or lights. Thumb down. Any cables. Okay. A lot of badness up there. So there's glass on this. Yeah, there's thick and glass. Okay, so I'm, I'm okay to walk on that. This place is really cool looking, I'll tell you that. I was kind of scared to walk on this. This is the mini-me lab, so I could stick a golden egg here and make the mini-me. Maybe? More down, okay. Oh! I should have put the mini-me's in here! I wish they would have given me this at the beginning! There's more. Oh, there's more of this. I wish they would have given me this at the beginning. Oh my gosh, how many mini-me's are there supposed to be? 
This honestly makes me sad. Because if I would have known about this... If I would have known about this, I would have, uh... I would have put them all in here. Yeah, this is just a giant thing to store them in and keep them safe. I I feel like they should have given me this at the beginning. That's that's kind of unfair because you know I wanted to let them run around. That I don't know. I'm I'm kind of salty about that honestly because I've had a couple of them die. And if I would have had this, then they wouldn't have died because I could I could have let them run around in here because they'd be safe because they would just run around in this. It's over here. This looks like kind of interesting. What is this? Is this more glass? This looks like with some like water behind it or something. Okay. That. I'm I'm kind of salty about that. However, I am interested in knowing. Okay, that hooks up these energy cells. Then they head over there. Okay. You go right there. You go there. You go there. You go there. And then you guys go up. Okay, so what's up? Um, I think I can go up here. I like to make it up. Oh, no. um, let me go up here. I just thought it'd be fine. I'm kind of salty about that. Kind of brings me down a little. Oh. Um, okay. Well. Um. Let's uh, put one of these guys right there. I'll dig this out. What is here? Clear glass. Oh, that guy just fell down. What is it? It's just a giant power thing? It's just a bunch of power. Why... Why would I... It's just a bunch of power. That's all this is. There's, it's not actually hooked up to anything, as far as I can tell. Unless there's something else that I don't see. It's zero of eight channels. So it's not actually hooked up to anything. Ow. So they're just energy cells for me to take. Okay, well... And then if I... Oh. Hi, Skelly. I don't think you're supposed to be here. There we go. Um... Is there a dark spot around here? Huh. That's sad. Um... And then if I put a thing of ineffable glass on this, then they couldn't actually go through here and climb up the stairs and fall down. And then they would have been safe running around here, running around down the hallways. That's... That's that's kind of disappointing, honestly. I'm 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 salty about that. But nothing I can do about it now. Yeah, nothing I can do about it now. Well, anyways, that's probably gonna do it for this episode. Uh, we explored those two things. I'm gonna make a copy of the world, and I'm going to I'm gonna head into that place. Uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna head into that wild stream. I'll load it up again. Click. Pull this out. I'll just toss it in that in there. Just double check to make sure everything's unloaded. Yeah, everything looks good. Yeah, so I'm really interested. I'm really interested, but I'm really scared at the same time about this thing. If I head back up here. Yeah, so it says Wither. I'm going to make a copy of this world, and I'm going to head in there. So, if it if it is, is total mayhem, 
then yeah you 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 guys will see what happens next episode. So it'll it'll be the beginning of the episode. You'll see if it's really awesome or if it's really horrible. So oh, stop responding. Okay. Well, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I'm still salty about that one thing, uh, the the mini me lab, but whatever. Anyways, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Have a good one. Bye-bye.